Hey everybody, it's Pam and Bill at Country Living Newbie Custom Decor in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And we are a couple minutes late. We're just closing up the store and had a few, uh, actually a lot of customers come in. So apologize for being late. Uh, so tonight we are going to do um, another, the next step on our T-Rose dresser. So to remind everybody, we um, painted this dresser with Dixie Bell's T-Rose. It's a beautiful pink. Um, we did the whole, so we, we cleaned it with white lightning. We did some repairs with Dixie Bell mud and we primed it with Dixie Bell's boss because I just knew we were gonna get some bleed through um, when I was cleaning it, the rag just kept coming back dirty, 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 dirty. I just never, it would never clean. So that was kind of a sure clue to me that we were gonna have some bleed through. So we put Dixie Bell's clear boss on it. Hey Trula. And hey Trula, and then two coats of tea rose. So last night on our live, we did our stripes. So we did stripes using um, Dixie Bell's fluff, which is a nice um, soft white, has a little gray undertone, very pretty. And then we did <clears throat> on the sides of the drawers, we did this stick and style stencil. And this was Royal Ann Garden, and it's by Redesign with Prima. And we, um, we used fluff to start the stencil, and then we um, sporadically put on um, rose gold decor wax and mm -mm -mm, what was the other one? Milky Way? Yeah, Milky Way and, ro and um, rose gold. So that's just kind of a nice little surprise on the sides of the drawers and all the <coughs> drawers have it. And we also used Dixie Bell's new Big Mama's Butter. In, um, in the scent is Suzanne's Garden. So this is a brand new product. It's a furniture salve. It has a, this one has a really nice light floral smell. So we put that all along the edges because these drawers were pretty rough. Here, we take that. These drawers were pretty rough um, going in and out. And once we put the salve on, they were like butter, like butter. So we're gonna put that back in. And I think they all have their specific spot that they go in. It took me a while to figure that out, but I mean, they're moving so smooth now. They did not do that before. <laughs> so the scent, we put it on yesterday and you can still smell it a little bit today. It's very mild though. I don't know, do you? I noticed it? it when I walked in yeah, the room. Yeah, when you walk in the room, you, you just kind of know something smells good, but it's not overpowering. So. And um, that's what our dresser looks like today. And then this used to have uh, quite a bit of molding on it, but the molding was in really bad shape. So instead of trying to repair it or patch it, um, we just, just took it off. So now we have these two doors and they're, they're actually on here pretty lightly because I need to do some, um, some more painting there. But we're gonna put them on so we can do the transfer tonight. So the transfer we are going to be using is overflowing love. So that's what it looks like. And always when you look at the transfers on the package, always look at the back because sometimes the front will have a um, painted piece of furniture on it. So it's kind of maybe hard to tell what the color of the transfer is. So always flip it around and take a look at the back here. Because this, this one may lead you to think that the background is pink, but it's actually um, a clear background. So this one is Overflowing Love. In case you haven't heard, um, I did put it on our page, uh, Redesign with Prima has their summer 2019 release out. It has 17 new transfers. Um, I ordered 11 of them today. I just, I couldn't order all 17, um, but I did order 11 of them. And there are some floral, florals, there are some adorable farmhouse and um, kind of country themed ones. So there's a barn on there, like an old white barn. It is just gorgeous. There's the cow with the rooster on top. Um, can't think of the other ones, but um, just super cute ones. So we will get those hopefully in sometime next week. And I did want to show you a little glimpse because you're not getting this really anywhere else but here um, in this area. Um, 
until probably, well, we're, we're one of the first to get it. This is um, Dixieville's new denim gel stain. So, um, I mean, it looks like a pair of blue jeans. It's just, <laughs> it's really cool. So I put it on this board. This is actually gonna be a shelf um, to uh, something that Bill's building. But they have that, and then they have the white, um, white magic. So you can do like a whitewash over the denim to look like whitewash jeans. Are you so, doing all those shelves the same color? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That'll look good. Yeah. Okay, so this Kristen thing, Rosenbeck says hi. Hey girl, how are you? Okay, so this is what overflowing love looks like. There are two pieces to this transfer. So this one really um, and you can always cut these up, right? You just if you just like the flower, you cut the flower out. If you like the words, you cut the words out. And we're gonna do a little bit of that tonight. But this one kind of has a running saying on it, love overflows and joy never ends in a home that is blessed with family and friends. So I didn't really want to cut this up because I kind of like the way it flows, but it's really not good for this piece. So we're not going to use that section tonight, but we are going to use bits and pieces of this one. So this one is a little more versatile as far as cutting it up um, with the flowers and some of the smaller um, um, writing. So I think what we're gonna do, um, I, I kind of looked at this before we came on to see where I thought, <coughs> what I wanted to use where. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is on this drawer here, we're gonna put just this little, um, it's, and it's a little bit darker pink than what we're seeing on the uh, dresser, so I think it'll be okay. But just this little bit of writing on here right in the middle of the drawer. So, to do that, what's the, um, the best way for me to cut this? Like, With a scissor. See? <laughs> we're gonna use a scissor <laughs> and we're gonna cut this because that's what Bill says we need to do. <laughs> do it there, I'll just move this. Is this good? Yeah, I'll just move this. <laughs> so I, I have these out because I actually had thought about doing maybe a silk screen stencil on the drawer. Either that or one of the raised stencils but I just loved the pink in this one I just think this is going to be just a super feminine feminine fun dresser so we're going to stick with the transfers for now and then we'll see what the next step is but we're just going to cut this out so if you've never used a transfer before it comes with a protective backing on it so while you cut it you want to leave that on this part um, some, so th these ones, it's not sticky. Sometimes it's a little sticky on here, but the transfer part is very sticky. So if I touch my finger to it, part of it's probably gonna come off on my thumb. If I lean it on the table, it's gonna stick to the table. So just be real careful with keeping the protective backing on it until you're actually ready to put it on. So we're gonna cut this piece out. And the goal is to put that right there. And maybe we'll do a flower on each side too, we'll see. And each transfer comes with this little stick. And another thing that uh, Prima just came out with is a, um, a transfer tool. So I, I think they, may, they might be sold out of them already. I, I tried to order them today, we'll see. But um, there's two sizes and it's just a little bit more sturdy than the wood one that can bend sometimes. So, are we gonna measure? Nah. <laughs> we're not gonna measure. We're, we're just not going. Measuring. We're just going just, for just it. Just going with it. All right. Okay. So this is little enough where I'm really just gonna peel it off and eyeball it. So you know, this is the center, right? And probably between the D and the E is the center. And up and down. I think where we look. We look okay. I think we're good hard for me to tell from here. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. And it's round. <laughs> and it's crooked. No. Okay. So you can press this on and it will likely stick itself if you want a little added. And it didn't. <laughs> it just came off that. <laughs> if you want a little added protection, which apparently you want to do. Now I got to center it again. Goodness sake. There's not a lot of transfer on here, so I need to go down a little bit. 
that's probably why it's not sticking real well. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of tape on here. <laughs> Just to be sure, I feel like that's crooked. But yeah, we're not gonna be able to peel that off now. It's on. Once it's on, guys, don't peel it off. Okay, then we're gonna take our stick. You wanna make sure you're doing this over um, just the paint. So I haven't put any sealer on this. This is just Dixie Bell paint on here. I lightly sanded it with a 400 grit sandpaper just because I like the, um, the smoothness, but you don't have to sand it if you don't want to. But generally you want to put these on before you seal. Um, if you have a piece that's already been sealed and the seal, you know, it's been, um, you know, been a while since the sealer's been on, you can do a light sanding, scuffing and put your transfer on. That works too. But if you're just doing a fresh piece, you want to do this first. And sometimes you'll, um, when you press the transfer on, you'll hear a little bit of a crack and a, um, like a snap crackle pop. That's a good sign. When you hear that, you kind of want to take that bubble that, that, sound, that, that produced that sound and kind of run it across your transfer. Um, I didn't get it on this one, but that doesn't mean the transfer is not, um, not transferring. But that's a good sign. You can get that air bubble and kind of ride it across your transfer. It really helps the transfer um, lift off. And so when you peel this back, you want to start slow. And it's always hard to get that first piece going. As you start to peel back, if you see that some of it is not um, adhering, just put it back down, scrape back over it. There is a little bit of what I would call, um, I guess a halo around the letters and around um, all the transfers. So it's this clear, just this clear um, border around it. And sometimes I'll find that kind of sticks. If you're having trouble with your transfer um, adhering and it feels kind of, uh, kind of gummy, you can put these in the fridge before you use them and that will help some. Mm -hmm. But I find generally if it's doing that, you can just push it back down and uh, just kind of keep going. But if you live like in, you know, where it's real, real warm, and I know right now it's super warm here in Tennessee um, and things are, you know, sitting in the FedEx truck, you may just want to stick them in the fridge for a little bit. can tend to break on you when you push too hard <laughs> and I am having a little bit of um, stickiness with that border around there but once I go back over it it's fine distinct when you hear it um and that is Trula little... says we lost volume are we back on sometimes that is crooked I don't okay know. now okay. okay now it's crooked I'm not happy you may have to so when you are done with your transfer very important transfers need to be burnished into the paint Okay, they, they kind of need to become one with the paint, so that way when you seal it, no air bubbles get under it, um, hence your sealer getting under it and your transfer lifting off. You'll be very upset if that happens. So take some time after you put the transfer on, rub it in with your finger. The other thing... perfect um, consistency. I mean, it's not like a grit. It's just the perfect um, 
material to burnish with because it won't sand off your transfer, but it will burnish it really well. So this is a, a Dixie Belle finishing pad, it's called. And so you want to make sure, and I always kind of look at it from the side, that the edges of your transfer are down. And most of the time, it'll be that little halo that I talked about that you see kind of sticking up. So off with this. You can also, um, you know, use a fine grit sandpaper if you like your transfer to look a little bit distressed. You can do that too. But I will do this until all those edges are down. And you probably don't see it from the front, but if you look at it from the side, I can see all the little halo edges kind of sticking up. And I'm just going to rub them all off. Now you don't have to wait to seal, but I have found better success uh, waiting overnight actually. So I will come in tomorrow, I'll take another look at this from the side and make sure nothing is sticking up because sometimes like even overnight, um, without it being sealed, some of the <coughs> halo part will start to um, kind of fray up a little bit. So I, I've just found if you take a little extra time in the beginning, you'll be much happier in the end. Okay. okay. Vic Victoria says hi from South Carolina. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Victoria Fuchs. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for joining. You guys can invite a friend. You know what to do. I like, I wish it wasn't um, crooked. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a little bit bigger. So if you haven't done transfers before, Start with something small like that. I mean, I wouldn't go like getting a five drawer dresser and trying to put a transfer across all the drawers. Um, I just think while it's easy, it, I think it builds your confidence a little bit, starting with something a little bit smaller. Okay, so on the doors, I'm going to, I think on this corner, so I think I'm gonna have something on this corner and then maybe on this corner. And I think this piece will be perfecto. I don't know if I want, I'll cut this little flower out too. And I don't, I don't know if I want to Not there. No. Sorry, everybody. We keep going in and out of signal again. Are we? Yep. Can we switch? Did you switch? Mm -hmm. Should we? I don't know if you want to do it in the middle of this. Well, I think... I'm actually going to... Uh, I feel like there needs to be something in the corner. I guess we can put something in there after, though. Okay. So we are going to peel this off. Get our tape ready so we don't fall on the floor again. So this one's a little bit bigger, so you want to be careful it doesn't roll up on itself and stick to itself. And I'm using some um, very delicate tape, right? You don't want to go putting masking tape on there or ripping your paint off. We did a little bit of that yesterday. And we're going to start rubbing. Teresa Little from California saying hello. Hello, Teresa from California. Thanks for joining. Appreciate you guys joining. We are, um, we own a store in Spring Hill, Tennessee. We've been here about, well, we had our one year anniversary on Saturday. We are a premier Dixie Bell retailer 
and we also are a redesign with Prima retailer and a Paint Pixie retailer. Victoria is asking what the name of the stencil is. This one is called Overflowing, Overflowing Love. It comes in two sheets. We're only using one sheet tonight because the other one is just a real long continuous transfer with the saying on it and I just didn't feel like that was right for the piece so we will use that on something else. Victoria asks, are we going to have the new transfers? We are. We ordered, um, I ordered 11 of the 17 today. <laughs> I couldn't, I just couldn't order all of them. Number one, I couldn't afford it, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. So I picked um, some of the different ones. Um, there's some florals, and we have quite a few florals. So I tried to go with the, the new farmhouse ones. There's some really pretty um, butterfly ones. They're in new packaging. So the packaging is um, a black tube, so they'll look a little different. Ellie from Spain says hi, and Victoria said it, the video cut out when you said the name of the transfer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you, sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. It's overflowing with love is the transfer. It's very nice. It's got the two big sheets in it, so it's very versatile. Cut it up. Spain? Spain? Girl? How cool. I'm not getting that air bubble that I really want to get, so I'm having to work a little harder on this. All right, I'm gonna go over one more time and then we're gonna lift off. <clears throat> Victoria asks if you can send her a line when we can order the, when she can order the new transfers from us. Yes, I will. Um, I, so I put my order in today, um, and it comes from California. We're in Tennessee, so I probably won't get them until mid-next week, but I will certainly um, post when they are available. Hey, if it comes from California, maybe Teresa Little can... Uh... <laughs> Teresa, look this up, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, just go to Prima, pick them up, and then... Come visit us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take this off very carefully. Teresa is asking what color the cabinet is. The cabinet is Dixie Bell's Tea Rose. It's my absolute favorite pink. And I think, so this one came, we, we, we have this one um, in stock. So you can go to our um, website and click on shop and it'll take you to our online store and you can buy this one now. This is Overflowing Love. This is not one of the new, uh, the summer release ones. And uh, this one is a little sticky, um, and again, I think we just got this one um, a couple days ago, and it has been, you know, 90s here in Tennessee, every day except for today. And I just think sitting on the, the FedEx trucks, they just get kind of, kind of sticky. So again, you know, you can put these in your fridge before you do this, and that will help some of that stickiness. But you can, can you kind of see, it's almost like, you know when you take your gum and you, like right there. So just, you know, just be real careful around that edge. Just put it back down, keep going. <clears throat> and if you're just joining, um, Prima does have a new transfer tool. Um, I did order those as well, if they have any left. <laughs> I didn't get to order right away this morning, so hopefully we'll get those in too. But it's much more sturdy. Um, 
I believe there's two sizes. And they're also, they also came out with a whole bunch of new molds, which I didn't order yet. Um, we sell a lot more of the transfers here than we do with the molds. And they also came out with some hardware, so some door knockers and some pulls. So they're really, um, you know, expanding what they're offering. This is looking good. I always hate saying that out loud because as soon as I say that, <laughs> something horrible happens. Because they're so um, you know scripty and thin, you got to be real careful about um, making sure you get them transferred on. Like this. I'm actually going to cut this. <clears throat> The words in particular, I did um, a never-ending story transfer on the side of a dresser, which is all words, the whole thing. And there's just so much of that um, halo around it. You really mm -hmm. got to um, take your time um, burnishing that in once you get it transferred. Again, you don't want any anything lifting. Oh, there's the bubble. Yay! Makes it so much easier when you get that big old air bubble in there. Just basically lifts the transfer right off. So air bubbles are good during this process. Air bubbles are not good uh, once you get the transfer on. I am making a darn mess here. Where's our pad? Where's our finishing pad? <laughs> okay, anyway. So <laughs> after you get it on, again, take your finger or a soft cloth or the finishing pad that you lose, wherever it is, and just kind of go around, push it in, make sure there's no air bubbles anywhere. Oh, it's right here. Oh. Okay, so again, Dixie Bell's finishing pad works amazing <coughs> for this. Because it won't lift your transfer up, but it's just enough to um, push in that little edge and even take some of it off, which is fine. And again, look at it from the side. Make sure nothing's kind of sticking out. But this one looks pretty good. But you'll see, you'll see it kind of frayed out if it's not um, all the way on. And again, I will wait until tomorrow. I'll come back in. I will do this burnishing again and then I'll seal it. And you can seal this with um, um, a poly, so I use Dixie Bell's Gator Hide or their clear coat. You can also seal it with wax. Um, I've never done that uh, on something big. I've always used their liquid uh, clear coats. So, what do we think? Ooh. Looks good. Pretty, pretty. All right, so, now I want to go to this top corner just to provide some some balance there. <clears throat> you think? I think we need something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could do something down here, but I think something in the corner. We'll save these little flowers. So you know, when you cut these out, save them because they're always good to just do a little little fill in somewhere. Because we also have we also have this piece up here. Right, so we may want to do something on that. Just like maybe some words or a flower or something. 
Okay, so up on this corner, uh, we are going to do, I made lines on here so I remember, I think, I think we'll do this. Just to kind of, because this one's kind of going that way and we'll kind of bring this one down that way. <coughs> Um, these are good to save if you use um, the stick and style stencils from Prima. These are good to um, put them on after you use them. Okay. Remember what I wanted to do there. Patterns. The middle with the words. Was it the middle? Yeah. It looks like you've got this in there too, yeah, but I don't know if I would. So I think I was gonna. Uh, that might have looked better down here. Yeah. Continuing that that edge, but I, I think I would get rid of that flower. All right. If you say so, we'll do it. It's your day. When did that happen? <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Just now. How's our signal doing? So far. Okay. That little flower might go better to the left of the big flower. To the left of the big flower. Okay, so now we're gonna put this one up here. Get some tape ready. So over, over here. Over there. Okay. That will keep it yeah. in the shape of the... I think I might... I'm going to move this, these words over, I think, just to give some balance. <clears throat> Don't feel like you have to use the transfer just the way it comes. That's the beauty of it. Victoria says, wish my husband would help me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Am I, am I that much of a help? <laughs> I am very lucky. Actually, let me come here. I know you're yeah, my, here. my my light is awful over okay. there. So. so let's put that. I'm gonna adjust my camera. Sorry, everybody. There. <laughs> my husband would help me. Have you ever asked him to help you? Maybe he's just waiting for you to ask. Like he's probably saying, "I wish you would ask me to help." <laughs> I said, "What time did I call you?" Four o'clock? I think I called Bill at four o'clock and I said, you feel like doing a video today? <laughs> and he went, no, not really. <laughs> but I'm going to Home Depot anyway, so I'll come to the store. <laughs> okay, so that one. I'm not, in the, I'm not in the middle of building six things at the same time. No, it's okay. <laughs> so I think, I feel like we should put that over a little bit. I guess let's get this on first. Anybody who's watching done a transfer before? Which one? What'd you do it on? Are you wanting to try one? Just too afraid to try? Don't be afraid. Just do it. Pick a, pick a drawer, pick a stencil, and just put a little flower on it to start. After that, you'll probably add 10 more flowers to that drawer. <laughs> Just don't just don't do it on a four hundred dollar piece of furniture for your first time. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's my bubble. Darn it. You lost it. I lost it. If you don't catch it, it's like it's like gone. It's done. It's very satisfying when you get the bubble. It's like, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> it's just something, I don't know. It's like you've arrived, I don't know.
<laughs> Victoria says, sometimes I'd wish you'd just stay at work. <laughs> All right, now you can't have it both ways, Victoria, anymore. <laughs> I'll send Bill out to you for a little while. Sure. No, I don't. Again, I, <laughs> I'm not we building have, six projects at one time. We do a lot time. of custom furniture, so, um, and like unique stuff. Like really unique stuff. <laughs> so uh, he's doing quite a few projects right now, which is good. All right, that one is done. So again, I'm not going to do it now because you've kind of seen me burnish a couple different transfers, but make sure you go over the whole thing, get the edges. All right, so this writing, maybe I should do the writing up here. That's what I was thinking too, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Probably should have put that a little bit lower. That's all right. Um, this is what I'm in. Paris. Should we just do Paris? Or do the whole thing? What does that say? It's French, so. <laughs> it doesn't say we, oh, I think that's merchandise. <laughs> Money and merchandise or something. So, I don't know, what do we think? I'm not crazy about just the Paris. We have Paris down there. Yeah. Let's do this one. I'm a very um, kind of symmetrical, what are you showing? Some of the stuff I'm doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yesterday he was showing <clears throat> the squirrel with the mohawk and all kinds of stuff. So, let's see. <laughs> Bunny. Would you <laughs> well, after this, Victoria, you're going to probably not want your husband to help you. <laughs> Here I am thinking we're taping a video showing people how to do transfers. And... Alright. What do we think? Yeah, I think that's good. That? Yeah. Is it straight? <clears throat> I'm, so, I'm so disappointed. I think that left... Corner. Is it yeah, that left corner is a little right. high. Oh, I don't know if I can. Might be too late. Let's see. Yeah, that. Oh, no, no. We got lucky there, guys. Victoria says just the words, but just the words. Just the words. Yep. All right, I gotta, I gotta look at You this. can get in the way, that's fine. Victoria says, what was that piece you just showed? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I just showed like three of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's better, I think, huh? Yes. All right. Wait. <laughs> no, now it's on. <laughs> Too late. Oh, uh, the one piece was a buffet that we painted black and we left the drawers the mahogany color. That is so popular here right now, doing like the frame, what is it called the frame? Like the, everything but the drawers? The, the case. The casing, you know. case, black, and then keeping the natural wood on the drawers or on the top. Very popular. And Dixie Bell's caviar <coughs> is a really, really good black. Uh, people just love it. That piece was sprayed. It wasn't hand painted. Yeah. He just sings the easy way. <laughs> just kidding. I do, I do the pieces that you don't want to do. <laughs> I don't have time to paint that whole thing. Just spray it. All right. Let's peel this off. Spraying gives it a, a nicer finish. No brush strokes. Yeah, if you want no brush strokes, you, you pretty much have to spray. I mean, you can get to pretty minimal <clears throat> brush strokes by keeping your brush damp and white coats and sanding in between and all that and getting a good self-leveling paint like Dixie Belle. 
Um, but just chalk paint is a it's a thick paint, you know. It's um, it this, takes a little work to get no brush strokes. This piece we're working on now was not sprayed. This was this was uh, it still looks brushed. Crooked, but I think that's just the way. Yeah. No, it's fine. It is. It's not right. It's fine. It looks a little unbalanced still, but that's all right. I think. I'm really just kind of bummed. I don't think that's a big deal. All right. What you should do now is get something that goes across. Seriously? Both, yeah. Yeah? I don't think we should do it now. Like a, uh, from here? Yeah, I guess you don't really have a, anything that flows like that, but. There's writing. Yeah, you could do that. So the other thing I think I wanted to do uh, was something on the side, like. <clears throat> You know, like in the corner, maybe. So I might do that. If you can I get would, crazy yeah. with this stuff, like I wanted to do stripes. I mean, if you're going to do something on the sides, maybe just something little in the corner. Yeah, yeah. And Trula says we need something more in that right corner. Yeah, I agree. Like, like. Here. Like another flower. Yeah. That little flower. Flower or butterfly. That flower is kind of small. You don't need much. You just need something to take up some space. All right, I'm going to look at this. Any suggestions? I'm gonna hold some things up. Like this space? Trula says needs more, f actually, she, yeah. Actually, she writes needs more flows, but I'm pretty sure she's, she means flowers. <laughs> oh yeah, she corrected herself. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> we, worry, it's not English we, class. Yeah, we got, okay. you, <laughs> we got what you, we got what you meant. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'd stay away green. from the. Stay away from butterflies. Stay away from butterflies. Right. Is that too big? That's too big. <laughs> Victoria said you made her cut that little flower off. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but it was in the wrong place. <laughs> I mean, we have. Mm, I think. I feel like that doesn't quite match. Yeah, it doesn't really match, does it? What about this one? Oh, maybe I was going to do that one anyway. Ooh. All right. That's kind of the same yeah, color. Yeah, it's the that. same color. What's, I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah, I mean, even this little, <laughs> this little flower. Just something in that spot. I mean, sometimes you just got to go for it, right? It's a flower. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too small. Okay. Too small. Guys, I am confused and. Here's a bigger one. The the one color, yeah. No, that's the same one. What about this one? But that's too big. That's what I was thinking. Entertain yourselves, guys. <laughs> All right. I can juggle. <laughs> I can juggle flowers. <laughs> Try it first. I like this one, but I think it might be too big. And it's so hard to tell with the back, you know what I mean? What do you guys think? That? <clears throat> Too big? I think that might be alright. And you can overlap, right? Yeah. What do you think? I'm doing it. Victoria says yes. Okay, good, because I did it. Yeah, too late. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone else says no. Oh my gosh. No, I'm just kidding. What are you insane? Not there. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of hearts from somebody. Yay. All right. I'll take one. One heart. guys don't like it, just remember you you wanted this. A 
good tip is before you lay that down, bend a corner up. Good idea. Yeah, because that's the hardest part is getting that. Yeah, you don't want to scratch the furniture or the paint trying to pull up that corner. So it feels stickier. A little sticky. And like, I have not gotten that nice bubble in like any of these. It's really making me work for it. As well you should. All right. I think it's perfect. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's what it needed. I think that's good. I'm glad I thought of that. Yep. <laughs> Victorious is beautiful. All right. So we're getting there. It's a process for sure. So we will. Um, <laughs> what? Marty, Marty, my eyes are horrible. It says, Nat, take it off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Trula loves it. <laughs> Thank you.